Major funding for innovation is provided by the National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. Additional funding is made possible by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, enhancing public understanding of the role of technology. And by the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations. Exclusive corporate funding is made possible by Siemens. What do you wear to answer the phone? What difference does it make? None today, but tomorrow, if video phone comes, as well it might, then people everywhere will be getting spiffed up for a phone call. With these kinds of technological advances, who knows what the future will look like? We are PBS. From NPR News in Washington, a PBS NPR News Brief, I'm Beverly Kirk. President Bush says the U.S. is making progress in Iraq, but concedes recent weeks have been tough. During a rare primetime news conference tonight, the president vowed to finish the work of the fallen, saying he'll send more troops if necessary. He blames the ongoing violence on extreme elements from inside and outside the country and says the U.S. will stick to the June 30th deadline for handing over power to the Iraqis. Good evening. President Bush's press conference will be seen tonight in its entirety at 11.30 p.m. Eastern as part of a 90-minute edition of the NewsHour with Jim Lehrer. As technology shrinks our world, the media landscape grows and bombards us with information. Yet, the flip of a switch or the flash of a screen often fail to touch the human spirit or the imagination. That's why, with even more choices, National Public Radio News has never been a more obvious choice. I'm Jean Cochran. I'm Lynn Wertheimer. And I'm Noah Adams. I'm Corey Flinto. From National Public Radio News in Washington, I'm Neil Cohen. For three decades, NPR News has transformed the way we understand the world with in-depth reporting, thoughtful analysis, and compelling commentary from some of the best correspondents living and working around the world. From Israel to India, Colombia to the Congo, NPR News reaches around the globe and right next door to define radio and news reporting at its best. Despite Gephardt's opposition, the once it makes its A recent winner of the Overseas Press Club Lowell Thomas Award, NPR News is the one distinct voice Americans trust and count on every day. NPR member stations bring an element of unparalleled community and regional reporting to the overall mix. In recent years, NPR News has expanded its reach onto the Internet with hourly newscasts, news features, commentaries. Also, live events to Internet users through original online reports, audio streaming, and other multimedia elements. At a time when we may feel a bit alienated from the news, too vulnerable to technology, NPR News is breaking through, connecting the human voice to the human condition. National Public Radio, the single place to deliberate, contemplate, appreciate. From Northern Michigan University, this is Public TV 13, WNMU-TV, Marquette. Since 1972, this is Public TV 13, WNMU-TV, Marquette, a service of Northern Michigan University. Support for Frontline is provided by U.S. News and World Report. Trust. For over 70 years, a commitment to playing it straight, getting it right. U.S. News and World Report. Trust matters. With additional funding from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Frontline is made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. This is PBS. When I was a little girl, I watched Mr. Rogers and Sesame Street. I learned to ask questions. I always wanted to know more, to ask more, to demand more. 
So I decided to become a journalist, to sit on the front row, make sure my questions got answered. My career has brought me here, to PBS, where I get to ask all the questions I have, and more important, all the questions you have. And when I get some free time, I can still sneak a peek at Sesame Street. That's why I support PBS. I hope you will, too. NPR News in Washington, a PBS NPR News Brief. I'm Beverly Kirk. The State Department is ordering all non-essential personnel and all embassy family members to leave Saudi Arabia because of security concerns. The government says U.S. citizens living there should also leave as soon as possible. The Pentagon says more than 20,000 U.S. soldiers scheduled to return home will now stay in Iraq for at least three more months. Military commanders requested the additional troops to help deal with the increased violence. Good evening. The cause of the disease is still a mystery. However, according to the National Parkinson Foundation, an estimated 1.5 million Americans are living with the disease. This week on Public TV 13's Media Meet, my guests will talk about the diagnosis, treatment, and living with Parkinson's. Two of my guests will be physicians with Marquette General Health System. They are neurologist Christopher Bixler and neurosurgeon Richard Roven. Also joining us will be Marquette resident Richard Klon, who was diagnosed with Parkinson's three years ago. So join my guests and me, Sonia Christman, this week for Public TV 13's Media Meet. Saturday at 6.30 p.m. A brutal murder. Her hands and feet were tied with wire. A beautiful victim. A grisly secret. Helen Mirren returns as Jane Tennyson in Prime Suspect, The Last Witness. Join us Sunday evening at 9 here on Public TV 13. A portion of today's operational expenses has been paid by the Elder Agency of Marquette, specializing in insurance and real estate since 1936, and by Campus Pharmacy in the Village Shopping Center, North 3rd Street, Marquette, a traditional pharmacy offering complete prescription service as well as over-the-counter medications, owned and operated by Dave Campana. A service of Northern Michigan University. This is Public TV 13, WNMU-TV, Marquette. Viewer-supported public television. Coming up next, it's Anything I Can Do. Next time on Austin City Limits, the complex and poetic music of David Byrne. You got it, you got it, if this is paradise. It's coming up tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with a type of cancer that's typically found in women that are like 65. When my mother was pregnant, they encouraged her to take this synthetic hormone called DES. The children of these women usually develop cancer, and that's what happened to me. At 14, when I found out that I was going to have to have a hysterectomy, I was just enraged. I started screaming at my mother that I refused to have this happen. When they did the surgery, I was so devastated. I locked it out until I was like 30. Then this wall just came crashing down on me. I wanted to have a child of my own. But I felt alone because my husband, David, wasn't sure he wanted to adopt a child. It was almost like I was being punished twice. I was just so angry. I was at the point of saying, okay, that's it. This is over. And then one night we watched this incredible show. A healthy baby girl on the POV series on PBS. There was somebody that felt like I did and had been through the things that I'd been through. I knew the feelings that I had were real. I had a right to be angry. When the show ended, David said, okay, we're gonna go ahead and try to adopt a child. He could better understand what I really had gone through. All of a sudden, I realized it was gonna be thousands of dollars and we just couldn't. A phone number came across the screen for the DES Cancer Network. When I went up there, it was just amazing. There were all these women that were like me, and I couldn't believe it. There was this trust fund set aside to help with an adoption. 
they just all rallied around me to get me the child that I wanted. Now we have our daughter, and she's just changed our lives forever. And the man that just wasn't sure that he wanted to be a dad is this incredible father. When you watch PBS, it could change your life forever like it did mine. Public TV 13, a broadcasting service of Northern Michigan University since 1972. Major funding for nature is provided by the Park Foundation, dedicated to education and quality television. Major corporate support is made possible by Canon, dedicated to preserving the never-ending beauty of nature. Canon lets you capture the wild in photographs and leave it as you found it. Canon. And by Ford. At Glacier National Park, our propane-powered red buses are just one facet of our continuing commitment to preserve and pass on America's natural heritage. Additional funding provided by Judy and Josh Weston and Mr. and Mrs. Eric Centerhofer. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. I am PBS. The Antiques Roadshow, you never know what they're going to find. Like, um... You know, like right here in this trunk, there could be some priceless treasure. Like this plate or this plate. Both are worth cash. <laughs> this lamp could be a Tiffany original. You, you never know. And this is... I don't know what this is, really. But it's shiny, so that's got to be good. I don't know how much it's worth. It's worth a hundred million dollars. Hundred mil? Boss, I quit. Well, this could be... Well, no, this is... This is junk, is what that is. Discover America's hidden treasures on the Antiques Roadshow. Now, this is nice. I got this in Memphis. The Antiques Roadshow. What's in your attic? Join us Monday evening at 8 o'clock Eastern. Hello, I'm Jim Lehrer. Thomas Jefferson believed that a strong democracy is dependent on an informed electorate. Public television plays a unique role in bringing us the information we need to be productive citizens, providing a place dedicated to the free flow of ideas with programming that informs, enlightens, and enriches our lives. That's why I support PBS. I hope you will too. portion of today's operational expenses has been paid by Mandel Electric Marquette. Professional electrical results in new construction, remodeling, and additions for residential and commercial customers. From Northern Michigan University, this is Public TV 13, WNMU-TV Marquette. This program is sponsored by the people of ExxonMobil, who every day take on the world's toughest energy challenges. From supplying the world's ever-growing energy needs to exploring new technologies, 
to finding better ways to use current resources more efficiently. All while continually improving environmental performance around the world. Exxon Mobil, taking on the world's toughest energy challenges. This program was also made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Major funding for NOVA is provided by the Park Foundation, dedicated to education and quality television. Science. It's given us the framework to help make wireless communications clear. Sprint is proud to support NOVA. We see an inventor. At Microsoft, your potential inspires us to create software that helps you reach it. Your potential, our passion. Funding for World in the Balance is provided by Marguerite and Jerry Lenfast, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, the Richard and Rhoda Goldman Fund, sponsor of the Goldman Environmental Prize, and the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation. Major funding for NOVA is also provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. things are trying to come together here. This energy is everywhere. everywhere, everywhere. Of course, the trick is to find it. Empty space is not so empty. It's a radical. You can never put the genie back in the bottle. Local broadcast of NOVA is made possible in part by Sandra Festian, ACSW of the Kareth Counseling Center in Iron Mountain, Michigan. We know that routine pap tests, clinical breast exams, and mammograms may save your life. But not all women can afford them. If you are over 40 and can't afford these tests, you may be eligible to get them free through your local health department. It made a difference in my life. Even the call is free. 1-800-922-6266 or your local health department. A message from the Michigan Breast and Cervical Cancer Control Program. Hi, I'm Patrick Stoner with a special quick pick. Now, if you want my full reviews, you can check me out on the air or on the Internet. But if you just want one suggestion right now, here it is. I need you to take the gift back. Take it back? I'm about to do something horrible to this guy that I really like and might even love. You don't like my gift? Fine. Get rid of it yourself. Don't blame me for your problems. Did I chain your butt up to this tree, huh? But you're not... Anne Hathaway stars in this lovely film that's like a combination of The Princess Bride and Shrek. It has enough cool wit to keep you amused. At the same time, the tone and the warmth, they'll make you fall in love with not only her, but the whole story. It is worth checking out. It's called Ella Enchanted. And that's my quick pick. I'm Patrick Stoner. A portion of today's operational expenses has been paid by Charter Communications, 
proud exclusive underwriters of Public TV 13's PBS Overnight Service, available only on Charter Cable. Additional support has been provided by Glenn Carlson of Iron Mountain, Michigan, in memory of John Albert Carlson. From Northern Michigan University, this is Public TV 13, WNMU-TV, Marquette. This week on High School Bowl, it's our championship match, and it will be a wonderful match, I promise you. Who's playing, you say? The Gwynn Model Towners against the Gladstone Braves. Two years ago, these two teams met, and it was the Gwynn Model Towners who won. Who will win this time? We don't know. Stay tuned. It'll be High School Bowl championship. Don't miss it. Questions concerning the UP bomb squad to changing the state's helmet laws. Questions for the governor from you, the listener, have poured into Public TV 13. This week on Media Meet, Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm will answer some of your questions concerning the state's budget and other state policies. My media guests will be News Director of Great Lakes Radio, Walt Lindelof, and Nicole Walton with Public Radio 90. So join my guests and me, Sonia Christman, this week for Public TV 13's Media Meet. Saturday at 6.30 p.m. From NPR News in Washington, a PBS NPR News Brief, I'm Beverly Kirk. The South Korean government confirms an explosion in North Korea but says it doesn't have details. Media reports say two fuel trains collided, killing or injuring as many as 3,000 people. There's no confirmation from North Korea. The U.S. Supreme Court has twice rejected football player Maurice Claret's effort to enter this weekend's NFL draft. Justices John Paul Stevens and Ruth Bader Ginsburg both rejected his appeals. Good evening. BBC World News is brought to you by WLIW New York. Funding for this presentation has been provided by the Freeman Foundation of New York and Stowe, Vermont, and the Rockefeller Foundation, Carnegie Corporation of New York, the Ford Foundation, the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, by UK Trade and Investment. The UK is at the cutting edge of video game development and is the European base for electronic arts, developers of Madden NFL 2004. In 2003, they posted revenues of $2.5 billion. Companies that look forward look to the UK. And by BMW. Ah!